In terms of everything, it's a kind of sum up this whole entire video and to answer the question, is the iPhone success still worth it in the later part of 2020? What I can tell you is, is that I think for the majority of people out there, getting an iPhone success is probably the lowest iPhone I would recommend to people. I'm not saying it's the worst iPhone or lowest one on the totem pole, not the case at all. I'm saying that if I had to recommend an iPhone to somebody and they are on a complete budget, they can't spend any money over a certain amount, I would recommend them sticking with an iPhone success or SE. These are the oldest iPhones that are supported right now with software, meaning that if there's a problem with it, if there's an issue currently when you buy the phone, chances are if you update it, there may be an update later on, there may be an update in a week or two or a month or a year that could essentially fix this problem, which is a humongous thing to keep in mind. Now, it's not the perfect phone, you know what I mean? There's definitely some shortcomings. The screen may be a little bit too small for people. It's not really a high resolution. It's not an OLED either. The battery life is probably not that great, you know, for me especially. If I had to use it every day, I would definitely be charging it, you know, at least like two times a day. And, you know, you can't do 4K at 60, but I still I still think 4K at 30 for a lot of people is great enough. You have 1080p at 60. Performance is great in my opinion for how old this device is. It's not the best, it's not you know better than an iPhone 11 Pro, but for a 2015 phone, I think it's actually pretty decent for sure. And the body still feels really great. You have force touch on it. You have a good looking display for the most part. I mean, it's like good enough. And you have iOS and you still have updates coming out for this thing too. So there are some strong suits for it. There's some reasons to pick it up. Would I pick it up? If I had like a budget of less than $70, and yeah, but for the majority of people, I'd recommend, you know, sticking with an iPhone 7, 8, going up to an iPhone 10, that'd be really cool too. But that really pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.